Canada has always been like a cousin to India. And why not? 3% of the Canadian population comprises of Indian diaspora. Indians have always looked at Canada to be a perfect country to become an expat. But Justin Trudeau's recent comments against India have got things a little heated up. That can somewhere affect Canada's relationships with India. Justin Trudeau's remarks have not just disheartened India, but have also humiliated the Canadian government. However, the Canadian citizens are not surprised because what else could have been expected from Trudeau, they say. Justin Trudeau has made global news this time against India, but for a long time, he has been looked upon as a weakling. But why? What did he do? Is it something about how he works and makes decisions? Let's find out because when it comes to digging into Justin Trudeau, there is a lot to digest. So gear up, let's take a closer look at Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau's leadership. Back in 2017, Justin Trudeau, who's in charge of Canada, said he was really sorry about bad things that happened to indigenous people in the past. This got a lot of attention in the news. Some folks thought this was a good thing because it showed he cared and was humble, which meant not acting all proud. But some other folks thought he was weak for saying sorry. They believed he was kind of admitting that the government before him did wrong things. Then, in 2019, Trudeau got into another big problem known as the SNC-Lavalin scandal. This was about him maybe getting involved in a legal case when he wasn't supposed to. People were worried that he was messing with the rules, and it made them wonder if he could be trusted to follow the law. When Trudeau said sorry to indigenous people, he did it in a really public way. It was all over the news, and people were talking about it. Some folks thought it was a good thing because it seemed like he was trying to make things better for indigenous folks who had been treated unfairly in the past. They saw it as him being humble, like saying, we messed up and we want to make things right. But not everyone agreed. Some people thought Trudeau was saying sorry for things that happened a long time ago when he wasn't even in charge. They believed it made him look weak, like he was taking the blame for what past governments did wrong. Now let's move to the SNC-Lavalin scandal. This was a big deal in 2019. It's a bit like a movie plot. Trudeau and his team were accused of getting involved in a legal case involving a big company called SNC-Lavalin. Some folks said Trudeau tried to change the rules to help this company avoid trouble with the law. This got a lot of people worried because in a country like Canada, it's really important for the leader to follow the rules and not mess with legal stuff. When these accusations came up, many folks started to question if Trudeau was strong enough to uphold the law properly. They were concerned that he might have used his power in the wrong way. Justin's foreign policy. Lately, in the years when Justin Trudeau was leading Canada, they gave a lot of money and help to Ukraine. You might think, Wow, that's a strong move against Russia. But hold on, some folks say it's not as strong as it seems. They think Canada is just trying to look good without really helping to fix the problem in Ukraine. Canada helped Ukraine quite a bit. They gave them money and even military support. It might seem like Canada is taking a tough stance against Russia, which has been causing trouble in Ukraine. But here's the twist. Some people think Canada is just doing this to look good. It's like when someone does something nice, but maybe not super helpful, just to show off. They say Canada's help isn't making a big difference in solving the Ukraine-Russia problem. However, just to remain in good books, Canada has spent around $500 million in providing military aid to Ukraine. Also, Justin expressed his concerns when it came to his attention that Ukraine was not invited to the G20 summit that was held in India this September. Building global relations is good, but spending a huge fortune on that, it's still a matter of concern. Above all, Justin never holds back from becoming an ally with the countries that plan to support Ukraine. Recently, Britain did with other countries, including Canada, to help Ukraine with military aid. Moving on to Trudeau's way of dealing with China has made some people raise their eyebrows like they're surprised or confused. One big thing was when Canada arrested a person from a big Chinese company called Huawei. Her name is Meng Wanzhou. But then Canada had trouble getting two Canadians back from China who were stuck there. This made some folks say Trudeau isn't doing a good job because he couldn't get those Canadians back. Now let's switch gears to Canada's relationship with China. There was a big moment when Canada arrested Meng Wanzhou, who works for a big Chinese company. But then China took two Canadians and didn't let them leave. 
This made some people think Trudeau isn't doing a great job in dealing with China. They wonder why he couldn't get those Canadians back from China. It's like when you have a problem with someone and you can't fix it. People started to say Trudeau is not being effective, which means he's not getting things done the right way. Economic policies Canadian citizens have really been disheartened by some of Justin's decisions in terms of the country's economy. One of those decisions was related to the carbon tax. Citizens were really disappointed and they also believed it stopped jobs from growing. In order to understand Justin's carbon tax, imagine you have a lemonade stand. The carbon tax is like an extra cost you have to pay when you buy lemons to make your lemonade. Critics are saying this extra cost makes it harder for your lemonade stand to make money. And it might even mean you can't hire as many friends to help you sell lemonade. What could be the real reason behind Justin's allegations against India? The answer to this question appears to be only one name, Jagmeet Singh. He is an important figure in the whole controversy because Jagmeet Singh is the chief of the New Democratic Party in Canada. It is the first time that a Sikh has become head of an important political party in Canada. Jagmeet Singh has climbed the political level to a great level, so much so that he is seen as a counter say opposition to Justin Trudeau. Though Justin and Jagmeet belong to different parties, they support each other sometimes. You know, anything and everything is possible in politics. Hence, when Justin's Labour Party became a minority, the NDP backed them up. Jagmeet Singh's party ensured their support to Justin Trudeau's party to help Justin remain in power till 2025. But in politics, each favor comes at a cost. There was a silent understanding behind this alliance, which stated that Jagmeet Singh and his party would support Justin. But as far as Indian diaspora is concerned, in other words, as far as Khalistani supporters are concerned, Justin will have to speak for them and give a clean chit to every action they take. Most of the analysts believe that Justin made the statements that he did only because of Jagmeet Singh's strict instructions. Otherwise, his government might fall. Isn't it a sign of a weak leader? What are your views on Justin Trudeau? Share in the comment section below. If you liked watching this video, you can appreciate our efforts by liking and sharing the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we have some amazing videos lined up for you. See you soon in the next video.